Hey guys, this week we took a road trip and uh, we are right now in Bighorns National Forest. We are camping. This is our second time we camp here. Uh, we went to uh, Mount Rushmore and we also went to Devil's Tower and we stopped at several places on the way. So join us on our road trip. It's beautiful out here. Rhonda's first road trip turned into an unforgettable adventure for us. Come along and experience the breathtaking journey with us as we explore new territory. Have you ever felt the thrill of setting out on a camping trip? For me, it's pure exhilaration. Not knowing what to expect, we found ourselves nestled among towering pines in the Bighorn National Forest. The excitement of a road trip had us all buzzing with energy and the scenery was like nothing we have ever seen before. We have never been in northern Wyoming. This is our first time and we just started um, our little vacation so we decided to visit Bihar National Forest and we are camping and we are hiking <laughs> we are exploring look at that wow it's beautiful look at this place this place is incredible <laughs> it has deadfall all over but we must have several years because it's blending in with its surroundings. <laughs> it is kind of incredible. The towering trees surrounded us, drawing our eyes upward as we wandered through the forest. The path we followed became lost in a maze of fallen trees, and the smoke from distant fires added a mystical glow to our surroundings. On the way back, the light flickered through the trees, casting crimson beams that left us in awe. That night, we gathered around the campfire, enjoying hot dogs and the warm embrace of the flame, while seeing it dance around the fire pit. There's something magical about the crackle of a fire as the night sounds grow louder. Even as ashes from the elk fire gently fall around us. Good morning guys. It's really early in the morning. Connor and the children are still sleeping. And I came to the same place that we were yesterday to take part of our landscape. In theory, in theory, my theory, all this is gonna be filled with beam of lights soon. So let's see, <laughs> my theory. <laughs> let's see if it's right. <laughs> my theory didn't pan out, but I was captivated by the landscape and managed to snap these three photos before Rhonda tracked me down. touching there's a squirrel <laughs> and he's grabbing nuts and he's dropping them to the ground we didn't linger in one spot for too long always on the move so much ground to cover in just a week as soon as Rhonda found me we packed up the tent and hit the road again According to Connor, we cover between 1,300 miles and 1,500 miles. 
We stuck to the back roads as much as possible. And every turn Connor made revealed something new. That's the best part of a road trip. How the scenery can completely transform in every few minutes. We spent our days exploring, covering as much ground as possible. Rhonda and Quache shared their space in the truck, while Lola and Mosby were very quiet in the back. Rhonda, always full of energy, made sure to let us know when she needed a break. Johnson County. <laughs> we are gonna have break, breakfast at uh, the BCB. <laughs> ah, it's chilly. It's chilly. <laughs> See the BCB. <laughs> we are in South Dakota now. We are on our way to Custard, and we stop. Uh, to let the children out. <laughs> the landscape transformed as we left the familiar behind. Hey guys, we are staying at Ch Chateau Motel and they are cute little cabins, cute, cute little cabins. You can see them behind me and we are enjoying their porch. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Finally, tomorrow we are gonna go to the Black Hills and on Wednesday we are gonna go to uh, Mount Rushmore. Yay, super excited. We are gonna stay here for two nights. <laughs> So everything is going great. It's Rhonda's first um, road trip and she has been enjoying it. <laughs> uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> Exhaustion set in for everybody. But we couldn't resist waking up early to watch the sunrise on the road. And let me tell you, the Black Hills at sunrise is a sight to behold. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, the beach. <laughs> oh. It is a serene moment that reminds us of how God shows its magnificence through nature in the quiet ways. We are cruising around Needles Highway and it's beautiful. I am taking photos every time that we can and we are having a great day. Ah! Look at Rhonda. <laughs> She's hanging on. No. It's pretty impressive. Different than Sublette County, that's for sure. Nature's beauty kept us captivated as we soaked in every moment. Letting the children run around. We sure are. No, this is a note down. Yes. We just had a lovely walk for the children. It was amazing. Uh, we are at the Black Hills. Oh. What? We forgot their bowl. Goodness, dude. Drink it. Store it all. Smaller snout. Our adventure took us to Crazy Horse, where history and art collide. We marvel at the monument in progress knowing 
it will one day become the largest carved mountain monument in the world. We just spent a couple of hours on the Museum of Crazy Horse and it was fantastic. Uh, we watched a little movie about the construction of Crazy Horse and it was really interesting. And uh, yeah, we are continuing our trip. Hello. What are we doing? Grilling on vacation. <laughs> Where are we? It's Custer, South Dakota. After a long day, we were treated to the culinary magic of my husband. Connor is a grill master. We have witnessed countless sunrise, but the morning we visited Mount Rushmore was truly special. The smoke from nearby fires had finally caught up with us, turning the sun into a glowing ball of fire on the horizon. This is how it is when you travel with dogs. Look, there's always a needy one. <laughs> there is the ton. Oh my goodness! Mount Rushmore was another breathtaking stop. The grandeur of this iconic landmark is hard to put into words, especially when you experience it just after that sunrise. Oh my gosh, God, look at this. The Iron Mountain Road with its tunnels and curves added to the excitement and by the time we reached Mount Rushmore our anticipation had built to a peak. After exploring Mount Rushmore we headed to Deadwood, South Dakota for a well-deserved lunch. We are in Deadwood uh, South Dakota and you have to see the buildings they are amazing look at the buildings they are amazing <laughs> later we made our way to a camping spot on a forest road After a fantastic morning in uh, Mount Rushmore and a delightful meal in Deadwood, we are searching for a place to camp. We are somewhere in Savoy. Savoy, we think. <laughs> we are on a forest road somewhere. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> not very uh, drive friendly <laughs> look at the beautiful things that you see when you are off-roading there's that uh, campsite we just passed you know like the, so we just started up this road cannot find a camping spot goodness it's beautiful though. We found a spot. Yay! <laughs> we are gonna camp tonight. Look, Connor already has the tent or he's working on the tent yay for Connor for setting up our home tonight it took a few tries to find the right one after several stops we finally found a spot and just managed to set up 
before losing the daylight. Hey guys, it's 7 a.m. and we have been in the road for like half an hour. We woke up at 5 and we were camping and we were cold. <laughs> we Apparently I snore. Mm, I don't know. I don't recall that. <laughs> but uh, we slept horrible. But we are on our way to Devil's Tower. So wish us luck. <laughs> oh, and remember to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Huh? So we're right outside Devil's Tower. Pretty cool. Hidiata couldn't wait. She had to get a picture right now, so she's setting up. One of the most unforgettable sights was Devil's Tower, which left us speechless. Its towering presence feels almost otherworldly. Walking around it at sunrise with no one else in sight made the experience even more special. We felt connected to something sacred. We just went to Devil's Tower. That was just incredible. You have to come. If you have the opportunity, come to Devil's Tower. It is something worth seeing. It's 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 something really, really wonderful to be honest with you. <laughs> we are uh, somewhere in between um, Buffalo and the place that we are gonna camp and um, we let the children out. <laughs> We are enjoying our camp chef. <laughs> um, gonna this time put, set up the stove uh, where's the sun because we have been cold the whole week. <laughs> I have been cold the whole week. <laughs> but oh well, it's part of the experience and I'm making eggs. Uh, with bacon and we are gonna have them as burrito style. Mm. That is beautiful. <laughs> mm. Our final night found us in Cody, Wyoming, where we were treated ourselves to a cozy stay at a pet friendly motel. Everyone, including the dogs, appreciated the comfort after so many nights under the stars. Good morning, guys. Um, it's our last day of vacation, and boo. <laughs> uh, we are going to go to visit the museum. We spent the night at the Greek, Green Creek Inn, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> and we, we, uh, we slept wonderful, <laughs> to be honest with you. We, uh, we have been chilly outside, <laughs> but oh well, <laughs> we have been having a wonderful vacation. Yeah. On the way home, we visit the Buffalo Bills Center of the West. We're at the Buffalo Bills Center of the West. Now we know what it's called. <laughs> Oh goodness, those are the children <laughs> barking in the horizon. Its interactive exhibits kept us captivated and I highly recommend it to anyone wanting to immerse themselves in the history of the West. Oh you guys, we just had a great time at the, what is it called again? The Buffalo Bill Center of the West. It's really, really cool. Lots of different museums in there, natural history, Plains Indians history, Buffalo Bill Cody history, uh, Western history, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, very interactive, and uh, yeah, it's a blast, you could easily take two days to see it if you wanted to. We have just a fantastic lunch at Zapata's, John, you should come here. The smoke from fires follow us throughout the trip. 
but it only added drama to the landscape. It's these unexpected moments that make every adventure so memorable. If you want to see more photos, then follow us on Facebook or Instagram. We are home! Yay! We made it home! Uh, everything looks fine. Thank you, Drew, for watering our plants. We hope that you enjoy our road trip as much as we did. We learned a lot and uh, we loved it. So, yay! I hope you did the same. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment and a like. See you next week.